My gosh, this series is so stressful that I really do want to dro drop the series, but damn it. Both of the main characters are so damn handsome and so damn pretty that I just can't drop it. Before we get started, I just want to remind our viewers that if you like seeing more Yaoi content and would like to support this channel, please don't forget to smash that like button. Also, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Feel free to message me in my social media at zealedfujoshi, which I'll be using to interact with viewers about more Yaoi content. If that's something that interests you, feel free to follow me at zealedfujoshi. Finally, this episode will contain explicit content and a lot of manual spoilers. With that in mind, please proceed with caution. You have been warned. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the chapter of 7 through 11 of Steel Under Silk, also known as The Blade and Flower. Help! Yunju is dead meat. <laughs> that D won't go and give any mercy to any hole it will see. <laughs> I'm happy that he fought back though till the end and got away. Usually authors allows this kind of toxic behavior to proceed and eventually the ones fighting against it quote unquote give in to the pleasure and then majority of the fans would just say or at least deem it acceptable so it's really nice change to the norm and realistic that yeah he has a lot of grudge against the governor and he is like um, denying him through every fiber of his being at first I was amazed though by all of Yunjo's bravery and his will to avenge his family but by chapter 11 we get to see him grow a little bit weaker and more fragile and I don't blame him though because like this is a very dire situation and this is what desperation does to you and you know like with the revelation that the governor already know that he was the son of a high-ranking official that he killed a couple of years ago you know it's about to get really juicy i didn't expect him to find out this soon in this series though but then again you know now that he knows this you know does he really wonder what you know is going through Yunjo's mind like you know he is already traumatized by the governor's face and you know like with him acting the way that he is acting right now like he kind of likes to want to pounce on him whenever he sees Yunjo. Of course, the guy is going to be traumatized, right? But then again, from the governor's perspective, you know, Yunjo really is beautiful. You know, to be honest with you, before reading this series, I was really thinking that Yunjo was a woman. And I was like, why is this boy's love yaoi? It's so obvious that that's a man and a woman and then he took off, you know, Yunjo's shirt and I'm like, oh, it is a dude. So we are in Yaoi territory then. <laughs> anyway, I am excited to see what's about to happen between the governor and Yunjo with all of the secrets out, you know, it's... There's really nothing that Yunjo can hide against him by at this point. So we're going to see some honesty between the two of them. And, you know, hopefully it will blossom to something really beautiful. I can't wait to see. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to follow my social media to be teased about some of the boys' love that I'm interested in. Feel free to leave me a message and converse with me in my Discord channel. I'd love to hear back from you. And please consider supporting the show by donating as little as 99 cents through www.zilfujoshi.xyz. Also, don't forget to support the author. All the manual details can be found in the description below. Again, thank you so much and hope to see you next time.